So I have this code from the last video, which simply outputs frame on every frame. We can kind of get a feel that things are going quickly, but how quickly are they really going? We don't know. And I want to get a better feel for how fast this these frames are firing off. So I'm actually going to just in the compilation unit define a simple debug count global initialize that to zero even though it's not necessary to do on the compilation unit I'll still do it uh, frame and then let's uh, output here plus plus debug count and line so basically every frame I'm gonna output what the uh, current frame count is and control F5 run that we can see here, yes, this number is climbing very quickly, but still, in, you know, as humans, yeah, I can't count this fast as a human, but computers, it seems like, computers can really crank, and I know they can count faster than, than that. And the thing that's really taking up all of our frame time right now is the fact that we're outputting to the console window. The console window is very slow, so I, I want to get a better feel for how fast are these frames really going. I'm going to close this, and instead of outputting every single frame, I'm going to say plus plus debug count, let's just increment it there get the plus plus off here. I'm going to say if debug count mod, let's say every hundredth frame, I want to output the debug count. I don't want to output it every frame because that slows down my frame. Actually, I need to put a equals zero here. If debug count mod 100, so every hundredth frame uh, output. So let's let's build that and run that see what happens here. Oh, you can see we're, we're cranking up by the hundreds. This is going pretty fast. Okay, we're counting a lot faster than we were in the w without the mod there. I wonder how fast can we get this thing? Let's do a thousand. Control F5, build that and run that. And you can see, yeah, it's slowing down a little bit now, but still, I mean, that's a lot of frames. With if the frame has nothing to do, the timer is able to really crank these things out for us. That's that's quite nice. Let me just for tickles, let's add another zero here. See what happens. Control F5, pop, 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 pop. There you go. So. What are we doing? Ten thousands now. So every tick is ten thousand updates. That's that's a pretty high frame rate if we're not doing anything on our frame. So so far so good. So it'd be nice to display the current frame rate on the screen. We're not going to do that immediately. Later, uh, probably not too far into the future. We need to get our frame rate up on the screen, and we need to be able to profile our game and that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to do that quite yet. For now, we're just happy with this that we have this update loop and we can do things with it. Let's see if we can get our triangle to move around a little bit on the screen. I'm going to build this and run this now that I have this code out of here. Okay, there's our triangle. I want to see if I can just get this triangle to move upwards a little bit. And we're going to do a very poor man's technique of what we're about. What This, this is very primitive. Very <laughs> we're going to do something a little more sophisticated quickly after that. But for now, uh, I'm going to move these verts. Let's just move these verts up here. I'll put them in the compilation unit level here. I think we're going to be done with C out for now. Okay, and I'm just playing, all right? No, no official coding standard here. I'm just going to throw verts out here. In fact, if it makes you feel better, I'll throw static out here, which makes it private to the compilation unit. Nobody can access it. Um, let's do. I'm going to control M O, or actually. Oh, I, my recording software in, intercepts the Control M hotkey, but Control M O would collapse all this for me. What I want to do is have a position where the triangle is at, and every frame I want to update that position, meaning move the triangle a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more, and draw the triangle wherever that updated position is. So to do that, we need to learn a little bit about vectors, uh, what vectors are, how we can use them. Uh, that's your first mathematical term that we're going to get into with math. Please don't be scared of vectors. It's linear algebra. It can be seem intimidating, but it actually is pretty straightforward uh, once we get into that. We're going to we're going to take a tangent, make a little vector class, then come back and use our vector class to get our triangle moving on the screen.